Questions and answers are based on Chapter 8, Fermentation of the Book Fish Processing Technology in the Tropics. Episode 22. If you think that the video is too fast or too slow, you can always adjust the speed by clicking the settings button. Choose the best answer. What must be done before the completion of the fermentation process when acids are used? A. The product must be neutralized. B. The product must be refrigerated. C. The product must be pasteurized. D. The product must be filtered. What must be done before the completion of the fermentation process when acids are used? A. The product must be neutralized. The fermented product must be neutralized before the completion of the fermentation process. What is the aroma of fish sauce produced through acid hydrolysis compared to traditionally fermented fish sauce? A. Stronger B. Pungent C. Similar D. Absent what is the aroma of fish sauce produced through acid hydrolysis compared to traditionally fermented fish sauce? C. Similar. The aroma of the fish sauce, although weaker, is similar to that produced through traditional fermentation. Which of the following fish is not suitable as raw material for bagoong and patis? A. Sardine B. Scad C. Mackerel D. Tuna Which of the following fish is not suitable as raw material for bagoong and patis? D. Tuna Fresh small fish such as sardine or tunsoy, scad or galunggong, mackerel or hasa-hasa, and anchovy or dilis are suitable as raw material. Small shrimps or alamang, oyster, and mussel meats can also be converted into, into bagoong. In the general procedure of producing bagoong and patis, what is the recommended ratio of fish to salt in the fish salt mixture? A. 1 is to 2 B. 2 is to 1 C. 3 is to 1 to 5 is to 1 D. 1 is to 3 to 1 is to 5 In the general procedure of producing bagoong and patis, what is the recommended ratio of fish to salt in the fish salt mixture? C. 3 is to 1 to 5 is to 1. The ratio of fish to salt will vary from 3 is to 1 to 5 is to 1 or depending on the size of the raw material and the type of salt used. How long will it take for the fish salt mixture to develop the characteristic flavor and aroma? A. Less than a week. B. More than a month. C. More than a year. D. 6 months or longer. How, will, how long will it take for the fish salt mixture to develop the characteristic flavor and aroma? B. More than a month. The fish salt mixture is allowed to ferment for more than a month until it develops the characteristic flavor and aroma. And the process usually takes six months or longer to complete. How can the fermentation time be shortened for the fish salt mixture? A. Exposing it to the sun for 4 weeks with regular agitation. B. Adding more salt to the mixture. C. Boiling the mixture before fermentation. D. Using smaller fish. How can the fermentation time be shortened for the fish salt mixture? A. Exposing it to the sun for 4 weeks with regular agitation. 
The fermentation time is shortened when the mixture is exposed under the sun for four weeks with regular agitation, then allowed to develop the flavor and aroma for six to eight weeks. What needs to be done to the fish sauce to simulate the original color? A. Dilute it with water. B. Add permitted food coloring. C. Boil it for a longer time. D. Filter it multiple times. What needs to be done to the fish sauce to simulate the original color? B. Add permitted food coloring. Permitted food coloring may be added to diluted fish sauce to simulate the original color. The general term referring to fermented rice fish mixture. A. Bagoong B. Patis C. Burong Isda D. Belachan The general term referring to fermented rice fish mixture. C. Burong Isda this fermented product was originally used as a condiment, but nowadays, many people consider it as an important component of their diet. There are various types of burung isda being sold in the market, depending on the species of fish used. What are the two forms of burung isda available in the market? A. White and black burung isda B. Red and green burung isda C. White and red burong isda. D. Spicy and mild burong isda. What are the two forms of burong isda available in the market? C. White and red burong isda. Burong isda is available in two forms. White burong isda, which has the natural product color and red burung isda which is colored by adding angkak or angka. Which microorganisms are involved in the fermentation process of burong bangus? A. Streptococcus, Pediococcus, and Leuconostoc. B. Lactobacillus plantarum, Bacillus species, and Escherichia coli. C. Salmonella, Staphylococcus, and Clostridium. D. Saccharomyces cerevisiae, Rhizopus oryzae, and Aspergillus nigger. What microorganisms are involved in the fermentation process of burong bangus? A. Streptococcus, Pediococcus, and Leuconostoc. The fermentation process of burung bangus is initiated by streptococcus, which persists up to the latter part of the process. Pediococcus appear next, but consist only of a small percentage of the microflora. Both leuconostoc and lactobacillus come out on the third day and are generally present up to the end of the fermentation process. Leuconostoc is the predominating microflora in the final days of fermentation. Nine strains of lactic acid bacteria, Lactobacillus plantarum, that hydrolyzed starch were isolated from burung bangus. In which regions of the Philippines is white burung isda preferred? A. Western provinces. B. Eastern provinces. C. Northern Provinces D. Southern Provinces In which regions of the Philippines is white burong isda preferred? A. Western Provinces White burong isda is preferred in the Western Provinces, while red Burong isda is popular in the eastern provinces of the central Luzon region of the Philippines. What is the product known as in central Luzon that is similar to vegetables fermented through lactic acid bacteria? A. Balao Balao B. Bagoong C. Patis D. Burong isda What is the product known as in central Luzon 
that is similar to vegetables fermented with lactic acid bacteria. A. Balao Balao. This product is known as Balao Balao or as Burung Hipon or Tagbilao in Central Luzon. But I, I don't really know how to pronounce it. Which species of shrimps are most popularly used as a raw material for fermented shrimp with cooked rice? A. Suwahe metapineus ensis. B. Hipon pineus monodon. C. Supo macrobrachium rosenbergi. D. Supo pineus marigwensis. Which species of shrimps are most popularly used as raw material for fermented fish? Oh, for fermented shrimp with cooked rice. A. Suwahe metapineus ensis. So any small sized shrimps can be used as raw material, but the most popular species are tagunton or the Palaimon species and Suwahe metapineus ensis. What is the ratio of drained shrimps to rice by weight in the fermented shrimp with cooked rice product? A. 1 is to 1. B1 is to 2, C1 is to 3, D1 is to 4.8. What is the ratio of drained shrimps to rice by weight in the fermented shrimp with cooked rice product? D1 is to 4.8. The ratio of drained shrimps to rice is 1 is to 4.8 by weight. What is one cause of spoilage and deterioration in fermented products? A. Use of impure salt. B. Excessive cooking time. C. Longer fermentation period. D. Exposure to sunlight. What is one cause of spoilage and deterioration in fermented products? A. Use of impure salt. Growth of mold occurs when impure salt is used. Don't forget to like.